be the trouble. Hey, Pasanos, welcome back to the continued escapades of Leanne Gleason in Fallout 3. We are a cautious young lady. I can run a few more tests if you like. Yes, I think I'd like that. It was talking so much, god god. I just don't go to take an exam. What's going on here? Get away from me! You think you're special because your daddy is the overseer? <laughs> Show it to her, Butch. Tell her, Butch. Hey, what's going on yeah. here? What do you want? Let's see. What's going on here? You? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Let's see. Now, see, it seems like, again, we're, if you recall, we are trying to play the character as the daughter of the mimetic Liam Neeson. Not the actual Liam Neeson, obviously, because I doubt he's an incredible badass in real life. Or if he is, please don't come to my home and snap my neck, Mr. Neeson. But more like the, <laughs> the daughter of the ridiculous old man action hero. So it seems like this would be more the thing we would say than the more diplomatic. Gonna be like, leave her alone or you'll answer to me. And who are you? Her girlfriend? Ha! Should have known. Keep talking like that girl, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. Is that right? Freaking three idiots with greaser haircuts and jackets are gonna take me on? Alright, let's go. You've gotta be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Here Butch, we go. Stop it. Leave her alone. Yo. Ah, tough guy, huh? Tunnels. Hit her again. Yes, we can use vats. Excellent. Let's Wally Mac pound this guy in the face. This will teach you. Teach you to mess with the guys. Ah. Give her another one. Oh, he's juking and jiving. Oh. Here. Uh... Didn't you just get new parts for it last time? Oh. Isn't solving anything. I don't know. I'm. I think this is going just fine. Wow. The hell did you call me? All right. Where's Butch? There you are. This this ought to change your tone. Okay, okay. You win. We'll leave the little girl. And we gain karma. You're not worth our time anyway. Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. This is the kind of game where senseless violence earns you points. Tunnels. Oh, look, our ha hair is already prematurely grayed right, like go. Liam Neeson. Fantastic. That's not weird at all. You too. How do you stow away your weapons? Uh, let me just really quickly check. Is there any, like, stow away? Well, there's also a block option. I probably could have used that in that last fight. I didn't realize that was... Oh, I think it's if you use the reload button. That'll... I'll take care of it. Yes, that stows away our meaty fists. So, God, that's over. You okay? Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess. Idiots. Hmm. I was kind of expecting her to scold me a bit more for um, well, all of this, but uh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, Bethesda games are always a bit silly with how the guys go flying around. <laughs> and here we walk in with a black eye. Hello. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Mm. Yeah, do I have to do this stupid test? Listen, I like your daddy. I might even like you if I wasn't your teacher. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to skip the test, just tell me how you want it to come out, and I'll take care of it for you. What? Well, I don't... Hmm, this is a tough choice. I think, just for the interest of the um, Let's Play, I think we want to do the GOAT, so I'm gonna pick this. Uh... Cause, I don't know, maybe... Maybe Liang Gleason would be exactly the kind of rebel who'd do this normally, but let's play nice for, for once. You. 
Don't worry, you'll do fine. As soon as everyone's found a seat, we'll get started. So I think the goat's keep the overseer waiting. good fun, even though it sounds like we're just doing a stupid quest, I mean, stupid Back test. Off. It is kind of a stupid quest too, but uh, here's all my friends and all these dorks. And Freddy Gomez, oh, Freddy Gomez, oh, I'm blushing. But there was the option about well, Freddy Gomez date or whatever. To find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. I'm so ready for this. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Well, quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber, eh? Okay, so if you guys don't know what's going on here, this is basically... A clever little way of uh, allocating our skill points. So the answers we give will kind of determine how this, like, what skills we kind of value and which they'll like the points will be put into. So, so uh, part of me is like we need to optimize, but I don't really know how to optimize. I'm not very good at that. So I think we just need to again get into the head of our our hero here and see what would be what. We need to think, what would Dad do? Let's see. Let's see, I think... Let's see. But Doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fish and singularity? Uh, no, too technical. Yeah, up yours too, buddy. Or say nothing but grab a nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head to knock him out. For all you know, he was planning on blowing up the vault. Say nothing but slip away before the scientist could continue his rant. Well, this one would otherwise be it, but I'm pretty sure Dad would say first this and then knock him out. So let's go with that. Two. Okay, so the game crashed again. Did you know that Bethesda games are a bit unstable? But I downloaded a patch and I looked up some cr the crash help, changing some in the dot any file maybe to help. Hopefully that will stop this and we can enjoy a crash-free rest of the Let's Play. I would enjoy that immensely. I don't quite enjoy having to edit all these clips into a coherent video. When I could just film one giant video. Yes. Anyway, so we may have missed this question due to the crash. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarmingly late rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads, scream for help, medicate the infected area to the best of your abilities, or restrain the patient and merely observe as the infection spreads. Well, uh, Dad is a man of action, so if we're like, what would Dad do? We're going to take amputate the foot before the infection Question spreads. Three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Hmm. Give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Confiscate the stolen property by force and leave the boy there as punishment. Pick the boy's pocket, take the stolen property for yourself, and leave him to his fate. Ooh, oh, goodness. Lead the boy to safety and then turn him into the overseer. Mm, I think, you know, Dad's always at a soft spot for kids, so I think he would have a heart of gold in this case and just not be a jerk in the end, just do this. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Yeah, that's a soccer over there, I don't think that, that one guy had. What are you talking about? Let's see, uh, pitcher, catcher, designated hitter, none. You wish the vault had a soccer team, I see. Oh gosh, um, I don't know anything about baseball, that most American of sports, so oh, what a oversight. So I don't know what any of these people do. I think this guy hits the ball. Uh, no, this is the guy who stands in the middle right, and this is the guy... This is just one of the guys in the field standing around waiting for the ball to fly at them. This is it the guy who hits them, I guess? Right, right? Uh, uh. No, 
I think Dad, because there are certain rumors that Dad might actually be Irish. I've heard those rumors going around, so I think Dad would be in favor of a soccer team. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? <laughs> that was the bloody, per bloody mess perk picture from the original two fallouts over there. That's amusing. Okay, well, Grandma, that's an interesting proposition. Obey your elder and kill the resident with the pistol. Offer your most prized possession for the resident's life. Ask Granny for a minigun instead. After all, you don't want to miss. Well, I think a few of those bullets are going to miss if you're using a minigun, but, um, I don't know. Uh, good percentage of them should hit, too, so it's not, it's not bad. Throw your tea in Granny's face. Well, I don't think Dad is that obedient that he just, just because it was Dad's grandmother, that he'd just say, Okay, Granny, I think this would be his first reaction, and he might be nice enough to ask for an explanation before pounding Granny's face in the shape of mincemeat. So let's just take, throw your tea in Granny's face. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? <laughs> is there an option to just let him rot in there? <laughs> there he is, walk away let the old coop rot. <laughs> oh boy. Um, use a bobby pin to pick the lock on the door, trade a vault hoodlum for his cherry bomb and blow the door open. Go to the armory, retrieve a laser pistol and shoot the lock off. Walk away and let the old coop rot. Okay, this one is tough. It's these two I have to pick between. Cause Dad would... I think, I mean, shooting the lock off sounds like something Dad would do, but a laser pistol, I don't know. This is more like a time for one of his more his trademark, uh, trademark wits. He might use a bomb instead, so I think I'm gonna pick this. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? A blood to the brain, okay. <laughs> Large doses of an anti-mutagen agent. Prayer. Maybe God will spare you in exchange for a life of pious devotion. <laughs> Please save me from my hideous arm. <laughs> Removal of the mutated tissue with a precision laser. No, I think Dad would not want to live himself if he had turned into a hideous mutant. That would be time for the final answer. Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Hmm. Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Steal the comic book at gunpoint. Sneak into the resident's quarters and steal the comic book from his desk. Slip some knockout drops into the resident's Nuka-Cola and take the comic book when he's unconscious. Hmm. Well, I mean, Dad's not a complete thug. He doesn't go solving everything by violence. We don't know what kind of person this is, um, who owns this comic book. If it's like Butch and his tunnel num nimskulls, numrods. Nimrods and numskulls, that's what I'm looking for. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, the gunpoint might make sense then, I guess. But I think, you know, if it's just an average vault member, I'm sure Dad would rather just do this trade thing. That seems more reasonable. So let's do that. Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... <laughs> See, aren't you guys glad we did the GOAT exam instead of skipping it? These options are quite hilarious in this. Loosen the bolts on some pipes. When the sink is turned on, the restroom will flood. Put a firecracker in the toilet. That's sure to cause some chaos. Break into the locked medicine cabinet and replace his high blood pressure medication with sugar pills. What? Prank? It's gonna kill a person if you do that. Ugh, that's no way. It's not that. Manipulate the power wattage on his razor so he'll get an electric shock the next time he shaves. Also something that could very well kill a person seeing as you're gonna be wet when while shaving. Uh, no, these two are sociopathy. No. Well, honestly, I, I'm... Me, Minsk, I've always been a mama's boy, so any prank seems like sociopathy to me, so this is a bit of a difficult question, but... Okay, back in character, um... <sighs> Both of these seem like good candidates. I think this would be another case where Dad would do some of his, uh... 
fantastic uh, trickery and wit. So I think the bolts on the pipes would be more of his tricks. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Reagan. Oh, no. The, the overseer. Hmm. Reagan was never born in this universe, was he? Hmm. Just realized. Never mind that, because that war happened... I don't know. I can't remember right now. The overseer, the overseer, the overseer, the overseer. What, a, what an ego question. I bet the overseer wrote this. Ugh. Okay, well, statistically, you're likely to get the correct answer most of the time if you pick option two. So we're going to pick overseer number two. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. That sounded uh, promising. All right, you need to. Thank God that's over. Come on, let's go get some lunch. How do you get out of it? Oh, okay, you just had to. Some directional button needs to climb out. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Of course the overseer's daughter. Ah, well, she's a nice person. Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You've surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! Who would have thunk it? <laughs> You're so full of it. That isn't true. Yeah, big man there. Although your hair is your coif is perfect. I'm all done, Mr. Brock. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Just as I thought. You're oh, the I just found the walk button. Congratulations, Yay. Mr. Hannon. Oops. What am I doing? Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Cool, I found the walk button. Excellent. Oh, come on, it's my turn, damn it. Wow. It says here you're going to be the vault's marriage counselor. Almost what? Almost makes me want to get married. Just to be able to avail myself of your services. What? Over half of my choice has involved me being hideously violent for no point, right? I'm making ridiculous split-second decisions that lead to... Uh... Irreplaceable, um, like completely un unwindable situations. How how do I have the freaking aptitude to be a marriage counselor? I'm gonna give people terrible split second decisions, and and that's gonna lead to horrible things. That that can't be right. This stupid test got it all wrong. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. And look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Huh. Okay, so apparently this is what the game wanted me to. So you three skills are selected as what you get like an early big boost in. I don't feel like... Well, that is odd. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think as the daughter of Liam Neeson, I don't think... Uh, uh, maybe speech, because, you know, we had to be as charismatic as a dad, but... Um, I'm going to take barter away, at least. Stick it into... Absolutely small guns. Remember, Liam Neeson always uses pistols and revolvers in his... 
And apparently also it covers assault rifles and combat shotguns. Hmm. Alright, I don't remember seeing any Liam Neeson movie where he uses those, but whatever. I'm gonna guess big guns means all those really beefy things, and I definitely haven't seen a Liam Neeson movie where he fires a minigun. Although that would be excellent. <laughs>